a new cup. If you're interested in any type of these beautiful pieces of, of I would say, Christmas present, like this, well, you know where to look. Under the video, you should have a list of these options. But hey, today we'll be talking about DRC from the company Imaginando. I, I had this in my iPad for at least a year. I like the graphic, I like the sound. It exists also on Mac. And that makes me very happy because one of the things I'm looking today is the option of starting a song on my iPad. You know, I'm using Zen Beats or on my telephone. Again, save it in the cloud and then go on my computer and push it further. Maybe I've got plugins or effects that I have on the computer that I don't have on the iPad and I can get the most out of each platform. The problem that I have often with this is that you might have uh, like a cool reverb on the iPad. You don't have it on the Mac, so you need to freeze it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's always a plus for me when it exists on both platforms. So then you can actually be able to move around and still edit and change stuff, which is pretty awesome. So now you have this Mac and iPad. And it's really cool. There's there's a bunch of, of different synthesizers, but I'll talk about the DRC. And um, you also have a option to save in the cloud of uh, Imaginando. Um, and when you save in your cloud over there, uh, by default, the free version, you can have five saves or patch memory, if you want, space in your cloud. And then means that you can just save it there go into the other machine and load the same patch, you know. Uh, after that, you can save it locally and then delete it from the cloud space. Um, so it's interesting the way it works. Uh, by default, the two, the, the iPad version and the Mac version, they're free. You can download them, but the synthesis is kind of locked at one point. There's some things you cannot do. Uh, you can load the patches and play them, and then you can buy more banks of patches, uh, or you can pay for the unlocking of the synthesis. I have the unlocked version. Um, and the synthesis, um, first of all, the look is really cool. It's very, uh, I would say, simple and, and, and you know, light to look at. Um, I use it also on the iPhone. The basic logic, right now it is in Zen Beats. So this is the audio unit version you're looking at. Um, in the standalone version. At the bottom, you've got keys. Yeah, you can play the keys, you can play chords. Uh, there's, there's different play, ways to play it, mostly for people who want to play without a keyboard. In my case, I, I'm using this to play, so the audio unit version is, is perfect for me in this case. Um, at the top, you have the information about MIDI Learn, Tempo, um, the patches themselves, you click on it, you can browse through them. And there's a filter on the side. So it's pretty, you know, works pretty simple. And can just also skip one at a time just by, you know, moving them up and down here with the arrow. Okay. We'll play some of the sounds after. Just, uh, I'm going to go through explaining the, the way it works. You have basically four sections, okay? You've got this section called oscillators, this section which is filter, a section under it which is mixer, and modifier. And when you're in the iPhone, you basically see one of these sections at a time. So you just see oscillators, just filters, just mixer, just modifier. And for each of these sections, you have tabs. So you can move between different sections. So when you're in oscillator, you're basically controlling everything that is sources of sound. So you've got oscillator one, oscillator two, sub. So let's start with oscillator one. Oscillator one, you have a choice of saw, uh, square, triangle, um, and sine wave. Square has a pulse width modulation. Well, there's a pulse width by itself, and there's a pulse width modulation. Do we have an initialized patch somewhere here, or do we have to create one? Let's do an init patch. So, um, let's do two. So we have the square wave, which is with the pulse modulation. You have the saw. And it's, I like the, it is, it is. It is very nice in the shape of it. 
You have also this triangular, which has a lot of bottom, which is cool. And you have the sine wave, which is again, with your headphone here, like, is really nice. Okay, very pure, just one. So we're gonna go back to the square because the square has a pulse width. And there's a pulse width modulation. I'm gonna bring that down a little bit. There's a pulse width modulation with that. It comes from the other for one, which is this modulation here. And this is the speed of. So oscillator one. What's special about this one is it has pulse width modulation and pulse width, which is oscillator two as a square, but there's no control over the pulse width or the modulation. Okay, fine. Saw two. So this is a little difference. But now what you have in oscillator two, you also have the control over the octave. And yeah, let's bring this one up. You hear the two of them. And you can also fine tune them. You can also have semitones. So you can actually tune it if you want. Or make it so it's uh, oscillating or having So it works really nice, okay? A sync also here, on or off. So it means that now if you change this, it would also always re-trigger following the original one. So it works really nice. Uh, the sub uh, is synced to the oscillator one. So it can be, oh, to hear it, bring this up. And you have a choice of same shape here again. You have a noise. Noise here. Noise is basically... And not the ring, sorry. The noise. If you just listen to the noise. The noise has a filter on it. So you can actually, you know, place it where you want. Then we get modulation. Uh, you can select the source. Modulator for one, envelope one, and the amount of modulation being sent to basically the pitch. So if you send it here and bring back oscillator one, you hear the movement. If we go here, you can play with the speed of this one. Okay, it can be just bizarre stuff if we want to. Whatever. So it's there. You can use it if you want to. Um, what else? We have performance. Performance, basically, you can control. It's going to be polyphonic, monophonic, unison, uh, portamento. And that's it. Legato and the time of the legato or the portamento slide, if you want. So this is for the first thing. But what's interesting, when you look at the bottom, just under it, you've got mixer. You've got the volume, the pre-gain, oscillator 1, oscillator 2 to hear it, the sub-oscillator to hear it, and then there's a ring modulation here. So what's cool is you have sync between the 1 and 2, and you have a ring modulation that is the result of modulation between oscillator 1 and 2. So it, it has that very nice... Bring these down. We have this modulation because you have this. And then, remember, if we have this on, it creates these really cool evolution of sounds here. So that's where having the pitch modulated can create these cool mo movement in here. So, again, the, the ring can bring a lot of movement here. So that's for the first one with this. Um, let's finish the mixer section right away. There's the delay. 
which is very com you know complete in a way because you've got flutter in it, you've got spread for left and right, you've got a cutoff uh, on it so you can cut the high frequencies, there's a feedback and there's a time, and there's an LFO, which is pretty awesome because it's not something you see often in uh, you know, in synthesizer delay, they often don't have that section of LFO. So having the LFO gives you that extra movement in the sound. Or in, eh, come on, don't stop now. Let's stop recording. Reverb, you have also an LFO for this one if you want. You've that decay, damping, modulation mod and the amount so so the reverb can become a real you know part of the synthesis in this case because you you have the, the lfo link to this which is pretty cool and you've got a chorus at the end which again uh, on off the rate depth feedback and the mode uh, digital or analog that's it that's for the mixer section let's go to the filter filter you've got main you've got the sources does it come from envelope generator 2 and lfo2 to move it you've got of course the cutoff the resonance and it's very nice you can even go into almost the distorts You got the four, which doesn't have that. You got I like the fact that you can have this distortion in it, especially at that section here. Almost give it that like rod, but I mean, if you don't want it, you have this very Nice, lush movement of the... Then you have uh, modulation. So where does modulation come from to edit this? Of course, here you've got envelope 2 and uh, LFO2, but then you can also have... That's cool, that's oscillated to being a modulator for the filter. It's really nice, I like that movement in it. You have the noise, which can be also And you get the keyboard, so it means that when you go up, it will be shorter, and when you go down, it's going to be longer, or depending on where you want to move it. And you have velocity to affect the amount of uh, opening and closing of the filter as you're uh, playing with the velocity of the keys. VCA is basically how you want the amplitude to be controlled by a you know, modulator. By default, it's the envelope 1, EG1, which controls the volume, which is fine. But you can have LFO1, LFO2, envelope 2, keyboard, and velocity to control also the way the amplifier will react. Let's go to the modifier then. And that's where you have all your sources of modulation, the modifiers, the attack, decay, sustain, release, envelope with velocity for the attack and release for envelope 1, envelope 2, same logic. LFO1 and LFO2 are basically not exactly the same. There's a lot of differences. The LFO2 can be modulated by LFO1, which is pretty cool, you know. this. So this synth has these little pluses. The fact they've got the LFOs and the reverb and delay gives you more of a control. The fact that LFO2 can be modulated by LFO1 also give it a kind of a weird shape, you know, funny way to do this. So it's really awesome. I mean, both of them have a list of very nice um, waveform. There's a delay 
to wait before it comes in. There's a key for that. You want it to be in phase with when you write the, play the keys. And there's a rate, which basically the speed, and you can have it synced or not. And then there's an arpeggiator at the end. Arpeggiator be on or off, of course. But one cool thing about the arpeggiator, again, one cool thing about this is that in every section, there's like a, a cool little feature. In this case, you've got a gate right here. So it's very easy to have your your stuff going from very short to long. What was that? A chorus? Delay? So this is again a cool way to do it because you have this gate and then you have a little list of up and down different ways random um, and the number of steps for each. It goes higher in pitch octave basically. Before we go further, I'm going to play a song that I worked a little bit just for fun. So I'm going to have ideas of how this thing can sound. So we go like this. Bass with the chorus that comes from the synthesizer. Really nice, round, cool sound. You have this one here. So That's using the internal reverb of the RC. Again, lush sound. Very nice reverb, actually. Built in for a built in synth, that's pretty cool. Maybe the bass a little bit loud. Let's try these. Using the arpeggiator. That's the DRC. That is the DRC, which is a very cool synth that you can use uh, iPad and Mac. And guess what? What's cool about all this is that on top of that, the company is giving away three license for the iPad version, the unlock of the DRC, plus three licenses on the Mac. So. If you follow the link below and you do what's listed there, um, there's going to be a giveaway for these three kit of two licenses, one on the iPad, one on the computer. So basically you can run it and move between them on your two devices. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's going to be helpful. And uh, again, if you like what I'm doing, thumb up, share it with your friends. Make some music. Also, follow me on the other online presences, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, these places. That's it. Stay safe. Make more music, people.